when he decided he didn't like me, the lion. When the lion attacked, the main thing I had in my mind was to keep my head moving, which I did. And I think because of that, I have two eyes today. I have pictures that were sent to me by people who were traveling in Europe, the Middle East. The most interesting picture I have is um, on the front page of the Hindustan Times, New Delhi, India. The big story in local television around the country in the 1970s was the explosion in news. News had become the big moneymaker for many local stations. And you, the audience, had a growing appetite for informational programs, so news got more time. And the technology became increasingly sophisticated. Cleveland Trust cannot blackmail the people of this city. The technological explosion of the 70s made possible this debate between Mayor Dennis Kucinich and Councilman Basil Russo in December 1978. Default night. It's unconstitutional, it's illegal, and I, I, I have to believe the administration knew that when they presented it to us. All right, us. what does the mayor say to that, Amanda? That No, the people do not want me to submit to the blackmail of Cleveland Trust. I resolve to serve faithfully the church in this The lighter process. field equipment also made feasible a multi-camera live broadcast of the installation of Cleveland's first homegrown Catholic bishop, Anthony M. Pillow. It enabled Channel 3 to respond to the economic problems that plague us with programs like the Job Fair, an over-the-air Jobs Wanted column broadcast from five different locations. We'll be back with you this evening at 11 o'clock. The explosion in information programming brought experiments with longer news shows, the magazine format show, new and different kinds of morning talk shows, and evening discussion shows. We're going to talk tonight about the democratic process and drinking. Not that the two necessarily go together. What's in there? <laughs> oh, well, there's a raw egg in the middle of it. Ah. With the 1980s came a new show that in many ways is a throwback. It's called Today in Cleveland. If you're not an early riser, it's on before the Today Show. But a more appropriate title might be the Tom and Dell Show. Its hosts are Tom Haley and Del Donahue. And it has some of the improvisational and experimental qualities of 1950s television. I know it's sponge cake. <laughs> sponge cake. <laughs> There is one final irony. We, like most television stations in the country, have a very short memory. If you try to find that program that was on six months ago, good luck. The videotape was probably erased and used to record that program that was on last week. If a very few people hadn't cared enough to save some of our past, neither you nor I would have been here tonight. It's been a great first 35 years. Let's hope the next 35 are as good and that someone keeps track of them. Good night. Oh yes, trick or treat. Happy day. I hear again the skies above are clear again. Welcome neighbors. Sing Fido. Ignition, lift off. These past nine years have really been something there they go, the KYW officials slowly leaving. No, put that typewriter down. Put that typewriter back. You can't have the typewriter. This is WKYC in Cleveland. I would like to introduce Wally Kanan, the weatherman. Oh, well, there's a raw egg in the middle of it. Ah. Happy days are here again. 35 Great Years has been brought to you in part by True Value Hardware Stores, Northern Ohio AMC Jeep Dealers, the Ohio State Lottery Numbers Game, and National City Bank. Happy births or happy 35th birthday, WKYC TV. We thought you were. behind the scenes to show you some of the frivolity going on in this celebration. Delbert, how long have you been here? 
I've been here 15 of the 35 years, but this is a very special cake for very special people here, and more especially for all the folks who have uh, been with us for 35 years or less. And I, <laughs> and I wish we could cut a cake for a uh, piece for every one of you, but we'll get started and go as far as we can, Any? Sounds good to me. Very Once again, this is duty. just a preface to our anniversary special that's on tonight at 7.30. We hope you'll all be joining us. It got awfully quiet in here. Anyway, <laughs> we'll be right back with the Dells folks. Stay with us. It's chocolate. It's chocolate. <laughs> Today is also, Channel 3 is celebrating its 35th anniversary being on the air here in Cleveland. And it is this benchmark that has caused Action 3 News commentator Dick Figler to reflect a bit about television. When I was 10 years old, a big truck came down the street and dumped a box in the corner of the living room. The box had a window in the front of it about the size of the porthole in a washing machine. And in the early days, you could see more interesting stuff in a load of wash than you saw in the television set. You could sleep till noon and still get up in time to watch the test pattern. And people did. If anybody had told me then that a glorified Cracker Jack box full of old Hopalong Cassidy movies would change the whole structure of American society, well, I wouldn't have understood them because I was only 10. But television has changed us. At the same time, it's been changing itself. Tonight at 7.30, this station will run a special celebrating the 35th anniversary of its existence. The special will show you how much television has changed. And after it's over, pause for a while and think about how much you've changed because of television. I think you'll be amazed at what it's done to you. I certainly am. Ring them bells. Mm -hmm.